Um, the Nigerian military has raised an alarm over a new trend of terrorist recruitment drives on social media platforms with uh, the Islamic State West Africa pro-based ISWAP, particularly active in these efforts. In response, the military has pledged to maintain aggressive operations to eliminate the threats posed by these groups. In a recent statement, Major General Edward Buba, Director of Defense Media Operations, highlighted the success of synchronized air and ground offensives, which have reportedly weakened terrorist forces. Notably, on November 6, 2024, the air components of Operation Hadi in Kai launched targeted airstrikes on terrorist positions in Kuala Ram and Ariana Sika Islands in Borno State, neutralizing over 70 extremists across Nigeria. The military has successfully neutralized 169 terrorists and arrested 641 individuals, including 40 involved in oil thefts. Additionally, 181 kidnapped hostages were rescued and troops confiscated 119 weapons, 2,970 ammunition, vehicles, motorcycles, phones, and cash totaled of 729,000 uh, naira. Among the arms seized were AK-47 rifles, fabricated rifles, and other assaulted firearms. In the Niger Delta, in the Niger Delta, troops thwarted illegal oil operations, recovering materials used in crude oil theft, including 20 crude oil cooking ovens, 83 illegal, um, illegal refining sites, and 40 bowls, among other items. The military continues to appeal to the public to remain vigilant and report suspicious activities as they work to dismantle terrorists operations and criminal network across the country um uh, this this calls for question also what, mm. what do you think about this situation mr jo uh, joshua like i said earlier when commending the effort of the middle pass the chief yeah. chief armed force uh, the army on their parts you know they are working tirelessly i must commend their effort recently in tackling the issue of insecurity and banditry in the country, including oil theft in Niger Delta. Even if the, the, the battle is not completely over, at least we are seeing tangible result. And when people are doing well, we ought to you know, appreciate them. Okay. The, the, the army are really, are really, are really on, their, on, their, on their feet because we are seeing enviable result. The same with from their stride. So the only thing I would encourage them to do is put more effort. Because in Nigeria, one thing is in Nigeria, when you are when you are doing what is right, Nigerians will celebrate you. And as a person, I must celebrate the armed forces, okay. especially the army. Okay. What part do you think they need to improve on while you talk about their successes? What part do you need they need to improve on? Do you think? Mm, I think what they should do, it, it, there, there, was, there was a time, there was a time early this year when there was an attack in Kaduna. Okay. And the Air Force wrongly launched a bomb to a place where was not the site for the attack. So I, I want to say before, a, before such is launched, there should be a good channel of communication so that such mistake will not repeat itself again. Mm. That's the only area I want them to really take cognizance of. All right. So this terrorist now, the question now is most of them are literate from the, the, the fact that they, they've actually come online. That means some of them can actually operate <laughs> the computer. Mm -hmm. no, because we used to assume that they, they stay in the bush with their mats and, and their weapons. But right now, since it's coming on social, on, on social media, it means that they are literate. So what, what, does this mean that there, there's, there's a threat to, to security and, and in our kids that are exposed to social media? This can also be a threat to them. 
don't you think that there's a target they they have a target they they are after they they have a particular um, set of people they they really um are trying to recruit you know like i said on this program some time ago that you know what we call criminality it's intelligence in the midst of deprivation and oppression looking for an avenue to manifest that is what we call that is what i see to be criminality i will agree with you most of these persons you're saying to be terrorists are graduates and they are doing this out of negligence from the government they feel they've worked for the country they've been obedient to the laws and norms of this country and the only way the government the government will pay them back is neglecting them not offering them an opportunity to strive remember i said we shouldn't just be looking at a problem we should look at the cause what is resulting to this problem it's just like what we are having in the country today where we have increased rates of dropout because of hunger so those students you'll see that are hungry on the streets, mm. what do you think they will be in uh, 10 years from now? These are future terrorists. You know